day shooting a version of the GP100 called the Max Champion. You know, Ruger came out with GP100 back in uh, 1986, been about 28 years ago now. They replaced the wonderful Security 6, which uh, at the time I just loved the Security 6 and I didn't think anything could replace it. But the GP100 has proven to be an excellent uh, revolver. Most of them have a heavy lug all the way, uh, makes them a little heavy. On this Max Champion, they've done a couple of things that make the handle really better and handle a lot more like the old Security 6, which I love. They got a half lug on the barrel. They've thinned up the sides of the barrel. Let me open this up so I can point it here. They've thinned up the sides, so it's lightened it a little bit there too. They've really made the, uh, the handling dynamics on this thing a lot better than on most GP100s. Well, another thing they did, they've got this good Hogue hardwood stippled grip on it, which is a nice long grip. Really fills the hand well. Uh, don't leave your fingers hanging off. Give you something good to hang on to, but it's not overly sized in diameter like a lot of grips are. This just feels feels great on my hand. Of course, the way the GP100 is made, it's got a stud here instead of a uh, full-size grip frame, so you can change the grips on it, put uh, rubber grips on it, or, or uh, rubber grips, wood inserts, anything you want. But on this Max Champion, I think they got the grip just right. This feels good, it fits good, real good in my hand. Handles the recoil of 357 Magnum, just great. Of course, it's gonna shoot 357 Magnum or 38 Special, whatever you want to in it. Another thing they did here on it, I don't know if you can see it here, but we can show you in the still pictures, they radius the front of the cylinder. So it makes it easier to reholster and just makes it smoother in operation. Uh, the barrel cylinder gap on this is nice and tight. It's uh, three one thousandths of an inch on this one. Got two of these in. The other one was five one thousandths of an inch. Both of them are uh, well within spec uh, for a good um, tight barrel cylinder gap to give you good velocities and good accuracy. On accuracy, this thing's got some fine accuracy. I put it in the ransom rest, shot it at 25 yards uh, with several different kinds of ammunition. Uh, run from anywhere from an inch was the smallest uh, uh, groups fired in accuracy and that was pretty consistent on that particular type of ammunition had uh, some went inch and a quarter inch and three eighths inch and seven eighths the largest group fired was two and a half inches at 25 yards which that's real good accuracy for this this will make an excellent hunting gun an excellent uh, IDPA type revolver if you want something like that it's got a 4.2 inch barrel so it is uh, legal where they can sell it in Canada and it makes it a uh, a uh, good size for carrying or for hunting. You know, a revolver is just as good as it ever was for a, uh, a duty gun or self-defense gun. You know, there was a time in this country for decades when uh, a police officer, just about every one of them in the country, had a gun similar to this. The 4-inch 357 Magnum 38 Special was very popular. Ruger did this one right. Uh, they, they've offset the uh, ejector rod in this when they started with the GP100, which gives them a little bit more steel where they can beef it up right under your barrel right there. It's got a good long stroke on it. Uh, most brands of ammunition fall right out. Uh, the cylinder latch on it pushes in. This locks up at the back, <clears throat> locks up at the front also, not just on the ejector rod, locks up at the front of the crane, at the back of your cylinder, and with your bolt in the bottom. So it gives you three locking points uh, when this uh, gun is shut. Of course, there's no side plates on a Ruger, so it's got a good strong frame. It's not gonna shoot out of time like some guns do. You can run uh, all the 357 Magnum ammo out of this thing you want to without any problem. The rear sight on it is adjustable for windage in the dovetail. It's a Novak style, so it's nice and smooth. Don't hurt your hand at all. Gives a great sight picture. It comes with two fiber optic front sights. You got a, a shorter one for shooting a 38 Special ammunition, and it's a little bit taller for shooting your heavier uh, bullets out of your 357. But anyway, it gives you two, uh, two sight heights on it. It comes with the gun. The engraving they did on it is really nice. Laser engraving on the, the wording on it and such. And it's a, a real nice, high quality revolver. It looks good, it feels good, shoots good, really comfortable to shoot. One of the most comfortable shooting 357 Magnums I've ever fired. It uh, carries really well in a good belt holster. It's an excellent uh, revolver for concealed carry. If you don't want to uh, carry a little pocket gun, if you carry one on the belt, you might as well carry one with a good four inch barrel on it because the barrel part's not. Hard to hide at all. Anyway, it's got a good smooth trigger pull on it. Ruger really, uh, they did a great job on the double action trigger on this, just smooth as it can be. Come in about uh, six and a half pounds on this one. The single action pull was under four, nice and crisp, but uh, you know, with a smooth double action like this, with very little need, unless you're doing a precision hunting shot or a head shot at uh, long range, to need the single action capability because it's just 
nasty smooth as it can be. The trigger pull on it feels as good as uh, as we used to get on some custom Smith & Wessons many years ago uh, when you send the gun off and get it worked on. But it's got the durability, the reliability, and the long life of a Ruger in this nice GP100. And so far, this is my favorite version of the Ruger GP100 that they built yet. I really like the Wiley Clap version that Talo did. This has pretty much got the same features on it, but it's got a better trigger pull, a better grip, <clears throat> inch longer barrel, and it's a real good, excellent double action 3 for 7 Magnum revolver. It, it would be my choice if I was choosing a, a 3 for 7 Magnum today to carry. The, this is pretty hard to beat, and it's available now. They're shipping now. It's available from any dealer that sells Ruger firearms. You can go to uh, uh, more information on it. Go to uh, Ruger.com, check it out. If you want to order it online, uh, click on the Gun Genie at galleryofguns.com. Or if you want to find a Ruger dealer near you, uh, click on the Dealer Finder at lipsies.com. And they can tell you where to go. And uh, if your dealer don't have one of these in stock, he can get you one.